Hey, what's up guys? All good things come in three, right? Your next iPhone is actually gonna have a triple lens camera. It may be this year, it may be next year, but it is coming. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the latest leaks and rumors regarding that, why it's actually happening, why Apple's adding it to their iPhone, why you'll learn to love it and give you an actual demo. So what better way to do that than with the Huawei P20 Pro, the most successful triple lens camera out there right now. DxO Mark actually calls it the best zoom on any smartphone and the quality is top notch. So I'm gonna be showing you a little demo of this and uh, between the iPhone 10. First off, I want to unbox that, but uh, triple lens is actually happening. There have been many reports already. We're at four going on five, and all of these analysts are agreeing that Apple is working on a triple lens iPhone. It is the future, and most phones within the next few years are going to be adding a triple lens camera to their arsenal, much like the notch uh, from the iPhone. So they're going to be copying Apple, but also adding that to their phones as an advantage. And there are so many advantages to a triple lens that you may not have even thought of. So, oh wow, man, that's awesome. Actually seeing this in person, the sheen of it. So we did some renders with this very exact same uh, gradient and it looks so nice in person. Very beautiful. I would love for Apple to add some color selection to their lineup just like this. So this is the Huawei P20 Pro, top of the line flagship. They're not allowed in America, actually. There's a law against that, so they can't sell those here. And the triple lens on this thing is pretty unique. It's a monochrome lens, so it's a black and white. It actually doesn't collect color, but in collaboration with the other lenses, it can make a very, very detailed picture using some new technology. Of course, it's a zoom lens as well, so you get the advantage of a three times optical zoom, which uh, is gonna be great, but it's not the only thing it's good for. So let's go ahead and check this camera out, compare it to the iPhone 10 and uh, see how they stack up right now and uh, what advantages the iPhone will add with it. Man, this thing is so reflective. It has to be the most reflective smartphone I've ever actually seen and I can't even imagine the fingerprints that this thing is gonna collect. It's basically a mirror on the back of your phone, which could be nice for applying makeup or whatnot for girls, but it's very nice. You know, this with an iPhone, I think would make a killer combo as a color. And uh, by the way, these are UAG's new cases. They sent me freaking awesome. I love them. Anyways, let's get to the goodness here. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this guy on and I check out that camera. Okay, and there's that setup. So the camera doesn't look like anything special. And this is something that I imagine Apple would do very similarly. They could just drop a camera below it. Although I feel like they would integrate it within the camera lens as well. It does look pretty clean. There are many concepts out there how Apple could do it and ours included. I think it's pretty simple. Although the flash, it's possible they could drop below the actual lens. Um, I still think that they would include it somehow as our concept shows. So within the app, it doesn't seem like anything special. I actually don't even like the interface of the app. It looks kind of dated, but zoom in and you're getting unreal quality up to three times because it's using optical zoom. Now, one of the advantages that this technology has is that even going into digital zoom because of that third lens, that's a monochrome lens, which is a technology Apple could absolutely use in their iPhone, it's actually getting a very, very sharp look past digital zoom and enhancing that. So even going forward to like, hey, you can still see how fine the details are on the HomePod. And uh, we're gonna do the very same thing on the iPhone right now. And you're gonna see just how much of a difference it is even going into the actual digital zoom side. So if I jump up to 10 times here, look at that difference on the right. It's a very, very sharp. It's still pretty dang good because it's close here on the iPhone. All right, this is standard zoom at two times on both. So pretty decent on each. I don't know why the Huawei is looking a little grainy here. A little washed out, but let's bump it up to three times here. So that's exactly three times on the iPhone and three times here. This is, ooh, notice that I just kicked into the new, uh, new lens there, looking much better. And both are stabilized. So Huawei's looking definitely a lot more mechanical but uh, let's go all the way now to six times zoom. And this is where the Huawei really shines. So I'm gonna focus, focus on both. And you definitely notice that the Huawei is looking a little bit sharper here. Things definitely looking way better. 
If I wanted to choose a zoom lens, I would definitely be choosing this one. So of course the triple lens opens up a lot of new possibilities. Basically we're getting optical zoom. Three times is what's rumored to happen. All of these sources are agreeing that three times is basically it's five times would have been nice, but that's gonna change the dynamics of the lens. Of course, digital zoom can be enhanced as well if Apple uses the monochrome sensor technology. It's not likely that they will. There's really no word that they're gonna do that at all. It's just what Huawei did and it's working for them quite well. I can tell the results instantly. I mean, when you're zooming in the low lights especially it's so much better also the sharpness with digital zoom is better so you're getting enhanced digital zoom on top of enhanced optical zoom already so that's a really great combo and also a better portrait mode so because you have that third lens it can actually measure the distance between you and the subject and then using the other lenses triangulate it and get a better results for filtering out the background cutting out the actual object and as a result you're getting some very impressive portrait lighting portrait mode shots in general so apple can use that definitely to improve portrait mode and of course low light photography is better if they were to use that monochrome sensor they could easily combine the data with the actual sensor and use that sharper processing to remove distortion and low light noise in the shots so i think apple could certainly use that in theirs as well and the one thing that nobody's talking about really is augmented reality with the triple lens camera on the back you'll be able to get 3d sensing capabilities on the back and it's been long rumored especially by bloomberg that rear augmented reality is coming to the iphone and with ios 12 apple is improving the ar kit and what better way to improve that even further by adding it to the rear with the upcoming iPhones later this year. So augmented reality, of course, is a big one. Interacting with the world better, having a sensor that's actually capable of it instead of just having the software. Now, a recent report is saying that Apple will be releasing a triple lens iPhone this year as the iPhone 10 Plus model and alongside it, the regular iPhone 10 with just the dual lens camera. This will be a great way to differentiate the lineup. So this is one report in a sea of others that are saying that the triple lens iPhones are coming into 2019. We don't really know for sure when everything's leaning towards next year, but one thing's for sure, everybody's agreeing that a triple lens iPhone is being developed, worked on, and will be released in the future by Apple. So there's how the triple lens camera will work, but how will it look? I'm very interested to see what Apple's going to do to make it look more normal. I think they did a very good job with the dual lens on the 7 Plus and the iPhone 10, just incorporating it, making it feel natural. And I think they'll, of course, continue that tradition with the iPhone 10s or 11s triple lens camera, supposedly. We've got a couple designs that you've probably already seen on this channel, but I wanted to throw those in. There's a lot of different types of speculation about what Apple will do. I believe they will keep the flash contained within the lens itself. It's just something that they've done with the 10 and they're going to build off of it. Maybe add a lens below it or separate from the actual assembly uh, below it. But either way, it's going to be a fantastic upgrade. And even though it may look strange, the capabilities it will offer will quickly disintegrate any doubts you had about a triple lens camera. And hopefully with this video, you got a better idea of what those may be. So thanks for watching guys stay tuned that triple lens camera is coming whether it's later this year or next year i'm very excited to see and uh, i loved it on the huawei p20 especially with this color scheme it works very very well and i want to see apple's take on it have a great day guys peace